This is by way of review, really. What kind of motion do the following DT graphs represent? Let's take a look at the first one. Tell me about this motion. Yes, sir. Okay, so constant, what's the V word? Speed. That's not a V word. Velocity. Yeah. It's got a V for a symbol, but when you say it, you know what I mean. Come on. Constant velocity. Now there is another term that people like to use, starts with a U. Uniform? Uni uniform? UM, uniform, yeah, uniform motion. So we could say this is constant velocity, uniform motion. Now constant velocity is fairly descriptive. Uniform motion means what about the acceleration? Not just that it stays the same. It stays the same at one specific value. What's the specific value this acceleration has? Zero. Zero, yeah. So uniform motion really for us means zero acceleration. What about this one here, the second one? Tell me about its velocity. Yeah, it's the same. Is it a constant or a changing velocity? Constant. So it does happen to be constant velocity. No, you don't have to. It's just by way of review. If you want to write it down, you can. It is a constant velocity. Happens to also be, in this case, V equals zero, or stationary. Okay. Zero meters per second, I should say. What about the last one? I, I guess I could be trivial about this. Is there any acceleration for the second one? No. I mean, it's got a constant slope. So, uh, I mean, sorry, it's got a constant position, so it's not accelerating. These are DT graphs, all of them. This guy here, the third one. Tell me about its motion. Constant velocity? Yeah? So this one's also going to be constant velocity. velocity. It's also going to be uniform motion. Same, same. What's different, then, between the third one and the first one? What's the difference? Yeah. Uh, so it's negative. Right. So we've got constant negative velocity versus constant positive velocity. So there's a difference, obviously, right? Both constant, but one's going away from home, one's going towards home, or really the origin. But this third, or this fourth one. Tell me about its velocity. Is it constant? No. So we could say that it's got changing. velocity. And while it is changing, what is constant about it, about that velocity? What stays the same about that velocity, I should say? Yeah? Yeah, the acceleration may stay the same. And actually, is it, is it a positive acceleration or a negative acceleration? Well, there was a, a, a way, a, a quick shorthand I told you yesterday to be able to look at a position time graph and check to see if it's a positive acceleration or a negative acceleration. Do you remember what it was? Yeah, we, we said if it's if any part of a position time graph looks like a frowny face, then it's negative acceleration. That's the little shorthand that we said. And if any part of a position time graph looks like a smiley face, then it's positive acceleration. This definitely looks like a portion of a frowny face. That's a pretty uh, non-technical way to identify it as a negative acceleration. One way we could talk about it is if the changing velocity happens to also be negative, and it's getting faster and faster, all the while staying negative, is acceleration working with me or against me? I'm getting faster and faster, all the while traveling negative. Is, it, is the acceleration helping me or, or slowing me down? Helping me. If I'm getting faster and faster in the negative direction, then the acceleration's helping me, then the acceleration must also be negative. It's helping me, helping me to go faster and faster. And that's kind of a Mickey Mouse way to talk about it. But it's pretty valid. So we've got negative acceleration. And whether it's constant negative acceleration or not, it's hard to determine. But for this course, we're going to use constant acceleration in, in all situations anyway. 
If we say that it's got negative acceleration, is that uniform motion then? No, no, no. It's negative acceleration, or in other words, non-uniform motion. Okay, different ways we could talk about this thing. That's all. And yesterday we talked about how to go from DT graphs to VT graphs and from VT graphs to AT graphs. And hopefully people took a shot at that.